it's our anniversary. Why so glum? Well, it's your coffee. It's your coffee. Your coffee. It's awful. Oh, no. <gasps> This coffee is criminal. Gee, honey, the coffee tastes terrible again. Your coffee is pretty bad. I just can't seem to make it right. Coffee begins with a little plant or tree. Set in shallow holes, 8 to 14 feet apart. The tree must grow for another two or three years before bearing its first crop. Picked by skilled workers, the average tree bears enough coffee beans to make about one pound of roasted coffee a year. The berries must go through a crushing and washing process, which takes place on the plantation. The coffee beans are spread out to dry in the sun. This takes from eight to ten days. The dried green coffee is ready to be sent into the city. You don't love me anymore. Of course I do. All I said was your coffee tastes bad. My coffee is so bad, Ralph actually hides his cup. Cut. Cut. Your coffee's undrinkable. Pretty harsh. You're welcome, darling. But if you could do one thing for me. What? Try to do something about your coffee. A checker stabs each bag and withdraws a sample for testing. Testing also includes actually taste testing it for strength and flavor. Based upon the findings of these experts, one coffee is mixed in the blending machine with another to produce the bouquet the aroma, the flavor desire. The green coffee is introduced next to huge automatically controlled roasting ovens, hundreds of pounds at a time. Cascades of precisely roasted beans are released at just the right moment, ready to be freshly sealed into packages the very same day. Drinking coffee is one of life's pleasures. A pleasure that cannot be duplicated by any other beverage. Coffee, sir. Oh, thanks, honey. You're welcome. Good coffee. You've been taking coffee making lessons. <laughs> <laughs>